Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet and uh, Qualifier 1 is done and uh, I'm going to show you guys in this video Qualifier 2 how you need to fish it uh, so how did I do in Qualifier 1? Uh, so you guys can see it here, so I'm now 79 uh, it was a very good start for me, so I had the f uh, before 6 p.m. so the first 5 hours of fishing I had already 5 uniques uh, so I was really excited because the best time still need to come uh, but I didn't get one after 6 p.m. that's a pity because if I had just three four more uniques I made it to the semi-finals you guys can still see here uh, the yeah the amount of fish that you need it's a little bit similar than previous year so eight to nine uniques uh, will be needed to go to the semi-finals uh, so yeah, it's a pity, but yeah, you cannot do a lot about it. Uh, I was really happy because I had after 15 minutes the unique and I was thinking, okay, the RNG is with me, but at the end it was just not paying off. It was like 10 trophies after each other almost, but I didn't get the unique back. Another good thing is I don't have Corona. That's, uh, that's very good. Uh, I only got Ebola, I think, or something, so uh, that makes me very happy too. But what I'm going to show you guys now is Qualifier 2. That's in Mudwater River. And uh, what you need to catch is Trophy Grass Pickerel or Chain Pickerel. Chain Pickerel is the biggest fish here. Uh, it's just normal size. Uh, so they will go to 0.8 kilogram. That's a very small fish. Always remember that. That you don't come here with 4 O's, 5 O's. Because you will not catch them. There is no benefit. What I see is that the 3 O is the maximum that you can go on those fish. So don't start throwing very big lures in this water. Uh, so it's the 10 biggest again. You start at a partly cloudy day at 8 a.m. And you will fish... Uh, until 4 p.m. The first two hours are very slow. Always remember that. You will catch not a lot of fish. So what do you need to use? So I'm still using the eagle spoon. If you don't have the eagle spoon, uh, you can go with another casting spoon. I test two of them. The one O's, they work really well. The small ones, the 9 gram one, is working really well too. But you will catch a lot of normal grass pickerels. Uh, it's, it's problematic at some time because you're catching so much small fish that they are taking bites away from the target fish and that's the chain pickerel. So if you can go, go with, uh, with the eagle uh, spoon because it's with the 3-0 and you will catch the most fish too. I'm still using the best caster. Uh, 220, the Consular 3000S braid 0 0.23 and then the Eagle Spoon. Why 9 kilograms? Because there is trophy both in. Can you come here with the lower setup? You can, yes. But you need to fight the trophy then. So if you got a spinning setup that can handle 5 to 6 kilogram, try it. Don't come here with a spinning set of 2 kilogram because you're going to fight the entire tournament, the, the trophy both in so now we are going to start and guess what it's a partly cloudy day i'm not going to start at 8 a.m i'm going to start at 10 a.m because that's the time that most of the the fish is getting awake because it's very dead the first two hours you can get maybe one two chain pickerels a couple of grass pickerels but it's limited therefore i want to start a little bit later so let's get uh, the private room there are in total four spots. Uh, one is delivering very good. I didn't know about that spot uh, until I started searching yesterday and the day before on the YouTube. And uh, now I can understand why there are some guys that get so many big fish. Because that's a spot that you can get three, four chain pickerels after each other. It's the best spot and I never fished on it. So I'm going to share it with you guys. It's the last spot that I'm going to show you guys. But first we are going to start with forwarding the time to 10 a.m. So you guys can see the, yeah, the times get better and better. Let's go 11 a.m. Then I'm nicely in the almost the best time of the day. So the first spot is you come here to Last Songs of Summer. Then you go here to the right. And here is a spot that a lot of people are fishing, but it's not the best spot. 
I see so many videos that are using these spots, but I tested it. For me, this is the third best spot of the four. Uh, so you can come here, but don't stay that long here. If there is no bite, don't stay here, because it's not the best spot. Uh, the other uh, spot number three, uh, spot number two and four are a lot better than this spot. So once again, you can do a twitching or you just go a stop and go. Try it a little bit through each other. It depends a little bit if you don't get really a bite on, uh, on uh, twitching. Go a little bit stop and go. Oh, and I forgot something. I'm uh, having a very cool moment, so let's get the glasses on. Yeah, here we go. So, uh... That's my uh, my lucky glasses. I need to say that I don't have a lot of luck anymore in those uh, tournaments. Normally, I can reach like four or five times the semifinals, but that's not the case anymore. Uh, it's like the game is just throwing so many small fish to me always in the tournaments or or just don't give me the fish and that's uh, that's a pity that's a pity but yeah it's how it is it's how it is so that's spot number one and this is by the way the action that you are going to get guys so don't think that this is like an exception what you see now here it's not that you will catch like non-stop fish. At the end, after two hours, you will get like 100 fish in the net. Uh, but it's not non-stop catching fish. Yesterday, there was a lot of more fish catching because there is bass and all that stuff. But this is chain pickerel. And this is, yeah, not a good fish to win it. It's like 100, uh, 0 0.1, that's 100 gram. Uh, yeah, too small. But I'm going to keep this fellow. So this is spot number one. Then we are going to spot number two. That's over here. Pike challenge. And once again, don't stay too long on a spot. What I see is, uh, you can get one, two chain pickerels, but if it dries up, change the spot. Just keep rotating. If you come on a spot that you don't get a bite, five, six cast, don't stay on the spot. Go to the next spot. Keep rotating. That's very important. Because that's how the game works. Now, it's not anymore like in the past that you can stay on the spot and that you will get at some point, you will get uh, the certain fish and then you move. That's not the case. I saw it yesterday too, I had the timers with me in the, the qualifier one. Uh, there were only two spots that produced for me uniques. That was really good, but the third time that I came back, they were dead too. So it can happen. How that comes, I think that's a new mechanic. Do I maybe need to switch to another lure? Uh, it's possible, but I don't hope so. So you guys see what I just did? I just went to a stop and go, just to have a look. Because sometimes the chain pickerel are sitting here in front of me and they bite on the reeds here. But you can see it's it's yeah more, more not catching than catching. It's going to be the same in the competition. So just throw between the locks, just reel in. And uh, yeah, that's how you need to do it. And I'm going to save a little bit my voice. That's not so easy if you are making a video, but you guys can hear it. It's uh, this morning I didn't have a voice. So this was spot number two. No, no luck. Now we are going. This is the second best spot that you can have, by the way. Then the next spot, spot number three. And for me, this is the worst spot. Uh, so uh, it's in catfish heaven. You just go to the left. And uh, where is the chain pickerel here? Here. This is where the area is. But you need to throw a little bit more to the middle. Why? Because there is a current. If you throw now against the reeds and you, uh, you get your lure back in, you will hit the shore at the left. So you need to throw a little bit to the middle. And then you can see that now the lure is coming closer and closer to the reeds. To the lilies here. And that's very important. That was a bite. So maybe we can get the fish over here. What I see is that a popper works a little bit better here. A walker with the one O hook. But it's not good fishing this one. I would just say this like a bonus 
uh, place. Just come here if everything else is dead. Uh, but uh, you can get very big fish here too, but it's, it's very slow. I tested it now, four days, I tested two hours every time fishing, and this was uh, the worst position that I can, uh, that I fished, so. Here is a fish, grass pickerel, I think. No, it's a chain pickerel. So that's not bad. Stop and go. You guys saw it. Once again, just the same. Now for the end spot. And uh, this spot is one of the best. So always try to focus on this spot. Uh, because it's very active. You can get three to four chain pickerels after each other. This is going to make uh, that you go to the semis or not this position. So where is it? It's just over here. So you guys can see it. Uh... If we go to the spot, if I can find myself, here you can see it. And it's very fat one. Here I got almost the maximum fish weight that you can get. So just throw against the reeds over here. And then you just reel in all the way to your feet. Because they are uh, just biting in front of you too. Let's do a stop and go again. To just have a look that they are here. If this is active, it can produce. And what I see is that I get a lot of big fish here. It's possible that uh, it's just RNG, of course. But I got the impression that some spots deliver just bigger fish. So let's have a look how big is. This is a lot better action. No, 0 0.6 again. Let's throw again over here. Is there a second one? Okay, one more cast guys. This is going to be twitching just to have a look. Yep, yeah, that was a bite. Another bite. Maybe he's coming back. No, it's not going to happen. So that's how you need to do it, guys. So you got all the info. You guys can see three chain pickerels in the video. But those weights are... Uh, if I got this in the competition, in the tournament, I will never make it to the semis. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.